when we studied the subject. We published a book not too long ago of letters by survivors of Hague liberation. And they're full of horrible descriptions, but they're also full of hope because they were the reaching out of people to the rest of the world after the Holocaust and the attempts to try to begin a new right afterwards. And this is very much a part of the story. It's certainly a part of the story here in Israel of how survivors contribute to our society and in Greece relationship. And I hope we'll continue to have them, but we're here. We are very much in touch with, again, our research colleagues in Greece. We know... And when we get down there, they head of our rights of the nation's department, Dr. Um Just a few words. Um, since the inception of the Righteous Among the Nations program at Yad Vashem in 1963 uh, and up to 2019, approximately 27,000 non-Jews have been recognized as Righteous Among the Nations. That, mean, as, that means non-Jews who risked their own lives to rescue Jews during the Holocaust. Of them, 355 are Greek nationals. Um, I'd like to devote a few words to Evangelia Gilgiad. It was originally from Crete. They fled to Athens, which was under uh, Italian rule till the fall of 1943. Um, they became close friends and following German occupation of Athens in the fall of 1943 and the beginning of uh, German persecution of uh, local Jews, uh, Bianca Ventula approached her friend and asked her if she could hide her daughter Yvette. Uh, she took her into her house, treated her like a family member, cared for her, treated her during a medical crisis and uh, this young girl stayed with the family till the liberation of Athens in October 1944. Uh, this is one example of the 355 Greek nationals. I hope Perhaps so. Next time we run a seminar for Greek educators here, I'll be, uh, would like I'm to very, very happy to, to come back and, and, and see again the whole, the whole museum. Thank you. Thank you.